Yo, what's good? And I here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. It's the end. Well, about the middle towards the end of November of 2019. And holy shit, the weather's been great. Right now it's like 50 degrees in November. I believe it's still fall. Soon winter, but I would expect it would be below 20 degrees here in the Philly area. But I'm not complaining. I'm happy that it's still cool out, still warm out, because I get to uh, work on my car. And today I'm very excited to show you guys what I got in the mail today. So this is going to be like a little unboxing video. I'm not really going to show you guys everything, more of like I'm going to show you whatever I wanted to show you guys. but. It's going to be a bit of a sloppy one, a, a, a bit of a brief unboxing. Here's the package. I ordered this package um, maybe a few weeks ago and it got in. So after like less than a month, it came in. And it's from Japan. Ooh. Oh yeah. Let me take out these uh, bubble wraps real quick. HKS Super SQV. This is a blow off valve. It's a, a universal blow off valve, but it should fit my car specifically, the Subi. I'm installing this on the uh, on the Legacy, on my 2007 Subaru Legacy GT Spec B. You know, um, hopefully it's a simple install. I've seen some videos people installed it on a, a WRX from years like uh, 04 to 2010 and it's pretty similar for my uh, my car because the engine bay setup is pretty pretty similar super sequential blow off valve with all the stuff that is included the C clip a little uh, hose like little valve two zip ties an o-ring I see these T was I think it's called a T pipe connector or something so like I said I ordered this piece from Amazon as package ooh look at this ooh, this feels so fucking solid I watched some videos and they were comparing between a fake HKS blow up valve and a real one this looks like the real deal it feels pretty heavy like the weight I don't have a, a scale right now to weigh it but it feels from one hand it feels like it's a little over five pounds Oh, I was saying, uh, I ordered this from Amazon, and um, I was told that there's a piece that it do doesn't come with, a flange piece that goes below this, and then the C-clip clips that onto the flange, and it's like an adapter for certain cars, like, to, f to fit certain cars. But, um, luckily, I read the uh, questions and reviews on Amazon. People said it doesn't include it, so I had to buy this separately. I got this. HKS blow off valve adapter. This is from Turk Solution, also from Amazon. Comes with these two uh, Allen key bolt um, <laughs> screws. Now this should fit onto the uh, the Legacy. And it also comes with this uh, plug. This plug is supposed to block off one of the hoses. This already came like weeks earlier Torque solution thank you hopefully this uh, fits well and works well with my car I mean give you another look around of the uh, the blow off valve itself Very soon, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this install. Hopefully, it's not too bad. And, yeah. See you guys soon. Alright, first drive. I got the blow-off valve on. It's kind of loose, actually. I'm mean, not loose, but uh, I had a hard time. I can't, I, I don't want to explain it yet, but let's see how this goes. And, uh, hopefully, it doesn't come off. <laughs>
good morning. Today is actually like two days after I actually got my blow off valve. And the day that I did get it, I did a, a failed installation of the HKS blow off valve on my car. Um, so as I drove it, one of the C clips that holds the, uh, the blow off valve to the, uh, the flange adapter, it popped off, it shot out. And pretty much the blow off off came off, boost leaked everywhere, like pretty much the car stalled out while I was driving and uh, the o-ring that was in the flange uh, got lost as well so that shot out. And here's what I had to do to get the flange to stuck on with the uh, blow off valve. Excuse how messy it looks because uh, I just wanted it to like paste on. So here's the uh, blow off valve now. And this is the flange adapter that I got separately from Amazon, from Torque Solution. The uh, C-clip that goes right under the blower valve to connect these two pieces. It was, it, it just snapped off. It was a bitch to work with. But, now I got it back on. But, I wanted to secure it more so that it doesn't come out at all. So I used some... Uh, JB Weld steel stick. These should work on um, aluminum, steel on steel, iron on steel, and whatnot to bond them together. They come in like a uh, a putty stick that's already mixed. Well, it's half mixed, and you have to like pretty much um, knead them together. Yeah, this is what I use, and hopefully it uh, it holds together well. It should. The blow off valve should hold well because it is held on by a C-clip and GB weld around it. I let this uh, cure overnight. I did this over 12 hours ago. So this is like at least 12 hours of curing. It should. It does say that it, 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 uh, it settles in after 5 minutes of mixing and then uh, cures in within 1 hour. So... Let's finish this installation. Okay, so I didn't really show you guys what I had to do, but I took out the, um, when I started this, I had to take out the uh, top mount intercooler cover, held on by four clips, one on that side, one on that side, and then there's two others, I don't remember, I think it was one here, and then one probably hiding around this corner. And then, I had to take off a bracket that was held on by I think 12 millimeter bolts. One here, or three. So two here, one there. And this was the bracket. It held on. It held on a, a hose, pretty much to, to like stay out of the way. I think it was this hose right here. So yeah. Then I took off the stock bypass valve. Okay, quick comparison between the stock bypass valve. I'm gonna show you guys what hose this was connected to, this piece. And we're actually going to block it off for fully atmospheric for this new blow off valve. So this is the stock bypass valve that came with the car. Looks like the gasket or the rubber ring is still on. And yeah, the uh, HKS blow off valve. So the plug that I got from Torque Solution, I'm gonna have to shove that in into this hose here and block it off. It's gonna be a bitch. The night that I tried it was very difficult. You have to like really maneuver it, pull onto this hose a bit, uh, give it some torque. So here's how it looks after I finish installation. You got the um, the piping towards the intercooler, I believe. No, that's probably something else, but it's blocked off. So this blow off valve is fully atmospheric, coming from the intercooler itself. It's shooting up, shooting out, fully atmospheric. 
And I know this is a bit uh, messy, but this is the best I can do so far. I don't think I'll be putting back that bracket that came how it is. It's a bit of a tight fit here. And uh, these are two Allen screws, bolts, that I had to use an Allen key rich with. It's a simple household Allen key. Not sure what size, but you would have to like test fit it if you were doing this. Got that a bit tightened up and snugged. Got the hose held on by like three zip ties. This is the, the small zip tie that came with the blow off valve itself from HKS. And these are two, tie, two bigger ties that I got myself and used and just chopped off. Hopefully it's not too bad. Looks good. say I feel like the car doesn't it's not as raspy as it was when it was with the uh, stock bypass valve because there were times where the car would you know do a little bit of uh, pops and crackles like nasty like you know subi sounds but now with it like there's specific shifts and rpms where the car should pop at but it, do it does not It does sound like it doesn't belong with the car though which is kind of true because I kind of read online that blow up valves aren't safe for a SUV 